Welcome back to Antric. Fire ants may be infamous worldwide for their aggression and fiery sting, but in terms of size, they rank among the tiniest in the ant world. With worker ants measuring only 2.4 to 6 millimeters long, each fire ant is significantly smaller than many other ant species, compared to Compenotus singularis, which can reach up to 15 millimeters in length. Fire ants are only about one-third the size. Compared to the powerful build of Harpagnathos venador, fire ants look like mere specks beside them. Even though fire ants are much smaller than Compenotus singularis or Harpagnathos venterans, their colonies are far more populous and widespread, making them a formidable collective force in the insect world. And what if you brought home not just one, but that terrifying collective to your house? Despite the rumors about these ants, I was wary of their danger. Yet, I still decided to raise this colony to truly recreate the incredible collective power they possess. Day 1, the first day, all of them were released by me into the open ground environment, a place where they could freely dig deep nests underground. This colony is estimated to have around 1,000 individuals, a relatively modest number in the wild. Even as a small colony, fire ants can cause localized chaos, or make people jump if stepped on. When they land, they use their main tools to cut, dig, and pick up individual grains of soil. With a clear division of labor, the scout ants will try digging several small spots to test them. They will never look for low-lying areas, because they're the Larry Coop, and eggs are highly vulnerable when they encounter water. When sand is flooded with water, oxygen cannot circulate, leading to suffocation, rotting of eggs, and the development of bacteria. Therefore, once a location is chosen, the worker ants are given the command to begin digging the nest deep down and creating a slope. While they're busy digging their nest like this, you'd better stay away. Their relentless hard work means that if even a single hand gets in their way, it will face instant and terrifying consequences. Fire ant venom contains solenopsin, a potent alkaloid that causes intense burning and tissue necrosis. After a few hours, the stings develop white blisters due to an overreaction by the immune system so far away as possible. But has anyone here ever been stung by a fire ant? Share your experience in the comments below. During the nest digging process, the ants constantly rotate their duties. The worker group digs deeper, layer by layer, creating an underground maze with escape routes, ventilation, and flood prevention. A complete structure built within the sand, as the nest gradually stabilizes, new organisms begin to appear, male ants and young queen ants, the first new lives preparing to split from the colony, sowing the seeds for new empires. Because in nature, everything always evolves over time. Even a barren piece of land can be reborn simply from a single seed, dropped from bird droppings carrying life waiting to erupt within. The seeds began to sprout. Alongside them, a cockroach appeared. Will it become a friend or will it become prey for the ant colony? Standing before the ant colony, it quickly emitted an aroma and was soon attracted. The ants gradually gathered in large numbers to attack. Fire ants truly live up to their reputation as an aggressive, invasive species. No matter what, if anyone dares to loiter in their territory, they will be immediately attacked without mercy. The cockroach writhed in extreme agony. Thousands of ants covered its body, not just a few biting, but almost all of them were attacking. The cockroach, terrified, tried to retreat. The venom of fire ants doesn't kill instantly. It burns from within, causing a sensation like being severely burned. The nervous system and sending the prey into desperate panic. In a final effort, the cockroach stumbled back deep into a rock crevice near the nest where it thought it could escape. But just minutes later, it silently reappeared, lying motionless amidst the ring of red. Its legs were contorted, its antenna no longer moving. It didn't die from its wounds. It died from fear multiplied by each wave of overwhelming pain. That's the end any creature will meet when it dares to confront an army of fire ants. They'll eat it and bring it inside the nest. In just one to two days, the cockroach will be nothing but a hulk because they possess a primal strength and a terrifyingly brutal instinct. If these ants were larger than humans, the world might have already been consumed by a storm of destruction, a place where neither life nor mercy could survive. Even in nature, when facing massive creatures like elephants, they could still take down such powerful beasts in the final moments. Day 12. Just when it seemed this place was exclusively the fire ant colony's territory, another character mysteriously appeared on the ground. It's a laryl dermistid beetle. These creatures don't tunnel like ants or worms, but they can burrow through small gaps in the soil. Because of this, the 